Okay, this particular feature that I um, use is exclusively for what I use it, um, but I'm sure you'd find many other uses. It is a easy multiple selection feature. So where I use it a lot is if there's, for example, text that I'm busy with. So these are text boxes that I work with. Okay, there's two types of text inputs we can Look here, it says artistic text and the frame text tool. So frame text is you create a, a frame and text goes in it and it will wrap and do everything inside of it. You size the frame, the text will follow the size of the frame. Whereas the artistic tool, if you make the box smaller, the frame here, the size of the thing changes with it. Now, of course, with the, this tool, you could do the same by clicking this bottom button here to size it. But... Uh, we're not going to go down that. There's another video that I did explaining that. But in my case, where this tool, the selection tool comes in really handy is if I'm doing an article like this. Now, I know the design is <laughs> nothing to be desired. I just kind of pasted stuff here for the sake of it. But if I go and I finish the design and I'm OK, I'm happy now. But I think, wow, I want to change the font of all of these text boxes. What I'd have to do is keep the shift button down and click each of these to multiple selected. Or I can do the following, which is where I want to show you. You go to select and under select object, there's some listings of different types of objects. Now you can experiment with it. Uh, maybe you want to multiple select only shapes or artboards or filled objects or so forth. If you look here, you have multiple options. In my case, I use this often where I go and I say I want to select the frame text tool because I want to do modification on all the frame text. And I'll click there and you'll see it selects it all. Also, you'll see here in the layers. I could have gone here and looked next to each of these things to see the little T and then multiple select them. But here it works just brilliantly, especially if you have a lot of objects that you want to select at one go. This sometimes is not too practical if you have text frames that you don't want to work with. You just want to select a few. You could decide to unselect a few. So if I don't want the top one, I could probably just keep my shift button down and click that and then it unselects that area or I could do it here. So, you know, if you have 20 things you want to select and there's 25 of them, it's easier to do a multiple selection, keep your shift down and deselect the five that you don't want included instead of trying to keep shift down and click the 20 that you want. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So if I was going to do all of these except the first two, I could just go select, objects, frame text, and then I keep shift down and I click there and I click there and those are the two I deselect and the rest are all selected. Okay, but I'm going to show you now, there I go, frame text tool and is as easy as that. If I want to change the font there, I can go in there and say maybe I'm going to, let's call it Ar Arminio font. Um, what you've got to be cautious about, because this is not uh, Affinity um, Publisher, where the text frames scroll into the next text frames. If you're going to be changing fonts in this example, you could have the, the text falling outside of the box because it's, it's too much text based on the font size, etc. So just be aware of that. I'm just doing this for demo purposes to show you that we can modify everything at the same time. Okay, in same way I could do it if I wanted to select, and I'm going to make this slightly more difficult by making multiple images just all over the place. So say these, these were all the images that I wanted to, to select, but I don't want the top two here. So again, Instead of shift, click, 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 click here, I could just go here to select and I say select objects and I can say images. And there you see it selected all. You can even see here it selected them. Now it looks convenient here. You could have just clicked here and keep shift down and select here. But often you find these images might be, you know, scattered in the layers. So here I don't want the first two. I keep shift down. I click that one and I click that one and they deselected. And then I can do whatever I want to, maybe add a toning over those other images that I want to create, or whatever. Okay, so 
This is a really great tool. It must just be used selectively. Um, <laughs> that is funny, select selectively. But I think if you use it selectively, it's going to work well for you. Um, principle is, if there's 80% you have to select and 20% not, use the tool and deselect the 20%. That's the principle. Um, same year with select same, you can experiment with that. But I think this is sometimes a tool that many people overlook because it's kind of just in the menus and we, we tend to work with what we have on the screen. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. So uh, you can work slightly faster with the work that you do do. Have a fantastic day. Be blessed and shalom to everyone.